What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Let's Talk Jurassic. I am Brad Jost, the host of this live stream and the Jurassic Park podcast. <laughs> I'm already laughing. I am already laughing. This is going to be fun. Um, but uh, what are we talking about, about tonight? Last night, we also live streamed, but this one's a different one. We're going to try to uh, be a bit more free and easy. Last night we were all talking about, uh, what was the name of that thing? What was that thing that popped up yesterday? Um, oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Jurassic World, um, oh, Dominion. That's right. Jurassic World Dominion. So we were, we were going crazy last night for Jurassic World Dominion. Maybe we'll talk about it again tonight. Probably. But, uh, mostly I wanted to talk about, uh, my time at New York Toy Fair this past weekend. I haven't really gotten to, uh, you know, show off too much from what we've gathered, which is pretty much the same thing that you guys have all seen out there already. Um, but I just wanted to show off some of my pictures, talk about it with you guys, and just get the discussion rolling. And, uh, <laughs> you know, maybe maybe we'll talk about New Era for a bit, uh, Ryan. But, um you know, we're going to get this thing rolling and but well, first off, I want to talk about uh a few things, a little a few notes before we get started. So, um let's see. So, over on uh our podcast feed, guys, if you're following the podcast feed, you'll you would notice that there there may be three <laughs> three episodes up this week. Why? Well, you know, reasons. Uh and because because I'm a crazy person, there's also two live streams up this week. So over on our podcast feed, we have episode 222 of The Jurassic Wire, which is uh, the segment where myself and Aaron Beyer discuss all of the latest news. And one of those things that we talked about was, uh, you know, the potential titles for Jurassic World 3. And then Colin goes ahead and uh, reveals the actual title. So that's a bonus episode for this week, which is actually... Uh, it's just, I took the, uh, the audio from last night's live stream and just threw that over on the podcast feed. I wasn't going to do it twice. I think we had a good discussion here on YouTube. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to put it over there. Um, and also the other bonus episode is about New York toy fair. So I went into deep detail about what I saw and, uh, what we did that day. And, uh, so those, those are your episodes for you guys over on the podcast feed. I don't know if you already checked them out or not, but, um, Please go to uh, JurassicParkPodcast.com. That's our website. You can find our articles, our show notes for the episodes, and a bunch of other stuff. So go check that out. And make sure for this video, make sure to like this video, guys. Like it, comment, keep the conversation rolling on the side. Um, and, uh, you know, first off, I wanted to talk about some of the expectations uh, for New York Toy Fair. Um, some of the things that we were talking about recently when it came to what we wanted to see from New York Toy Fair. And, you know, if you guys were here, I did a live stream about it, and uh, I think I talked about it maybe on some episode. But um, uh, one, of the big one of the big things was that we kind of expected more reveals from the Primal Attack. And I think we got that. We definitely got that. We got a lot of reveals from the Primal Attack. Um, we also expected some big stuff as far as Camp Cretaceous is concerned. Um, and we kind of got some stuff. Maybe a little bit. Um, and maybe some other stuff that was shown. Um, like, uh, I know there was a lot of character names and descriptions and dinosaurs throughout that are leading all the way up to 2021 that were released at some point based off of like a, a, a press kit and they were all taken down. So I don't know if you got a glimpse at all that stuff, but it was all taken down. Um, so there was some Camp Cretaceous stuff on there and a lot of the dinosaurs that you've seen from Toy Fair are related to Camp Cretaceous. So there is that, but we kind of expected a lot more, I think, from Camp Cretaceous as far as branding is concerned. Uh, we wanted to see a lot of the characters, maybe some humans. Um, we didn't get any of those things, really. Uh, certainly no humans and no humans across the board. We got nothing for the humans uh, from Mattel. And then uh, we also wanted to see the the Seats Mikororum. And uh, well, you know, we 
did see it, <laughs> just not on the showroom floor. Somehow, uh, this dinosaur leaked out. So we at least have a leaked picture of this thing. And, uh, you know, we did expect a lot from the Amber Collection, which, you know, it's a line that they've hyped up over this past year. And uh, I totally expected to see something from this line. Something. I didn't see anything. I saw nothing. No, Nothing from the Amber Collection, which is really shocking. Yeah, uh, very surprised by that. Um, I kind of expected maybe at least a reveal of uh, Dennis Nedry and the Dilophosaurus. Uh, got no reveal, so that's a bummer. Uh, it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive, so maybe it has to come through, through them. I don't know. But uh, we didn't get anything as far as that's concerned. And no upcoming figures, no new figures, nothing. So those were kind of our expectations going in. Um, and I think one of those expectations was the uh, Super Colossal Indominus Rex. We got that. So um, why don't we go ahead and dive into um, what we saw out at New York Toy Fair. Let me bring up some stuff for you guys. Um, all right, so... Where's my stuff here? All right, so I'm transitioning over here to my little slideshow for you guys. Hopefully this works out. Um, one of the first stops we did, so I was out there with um, uh, Chris Pugh from Jurassic Outpost, Tim from uh, Collect Jurassic, and uh, also another Tim who is taking a lot of pictures for Collect Jurassic as well. So you'll see his photos over on CollectJurassic.com. Um, so... Yeah, so let's check out this stuff. We we first headed out to Lego because we're like, you know what? There's going to be a lot of Jurassic stuff. So <laughs> let's go out to Lego and see what they have in store for us Jurassic fans who are really excited about uh, The Legend of Isla Nublar, this Lego TV show that's been running since last year. And uh, we're hyped. We're ready to see more. And uh, they let us down, and there was no no Jurassic items <laughs> on display, nothing behind the scenes, nothing that they would show us at least. So, yeah, that was a bummer. Uh, so nothing from Lego, but, you know, you got this guy. This guy's cool. I mean, he's pretty cool looking. I like him. <laughs> I really want to take that guy home, uh, you know, as far as the Lego's concerned. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's a cool – I like these little sets. There was a lot of stuff that we saw in uh, – <laughs> There was a lot of stuff that we saw uh, outside of Jurassic inside uh, the Lego booth. So that was, that was pretty funny. One of those things um, was this. This is pretty cool. I hope this has been released. I think it has. Um, we were on embargo for a little bit, but I think it's been released. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, this is a, a very cool Venom like T-Rex set. Very, very cool. I love this thing. It looks awesome. It's pretty much, I feel like it's almost, if it's not identical, it looks very, very close to the um, uh, the Lego, what do you call that thing? The uh, uh, mech T-Rex that they had out there, right? It kind of looks almost identical to that. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, I really like that thing. I think it looks really cool. Um, so I guess Venom transforms into a T-Rex, apparently. Um, and there is the box itself. Spider-Man, Venomosaurus, Ambush. Um, so apparently, in the Spider-Man world, he's in a desert hunting down a Venomosaurus with a truck. I don't know. So, <laughs> here, here is the gigantic entry. It's like a monolith. It's like going into like a, a Egyptian, you know tomb or something like that it's crazy this is just massive uh <clears throat> huge mattel signs obviously you enter up the staircase and into their booth and uh they had like a lot of stuff on display there really really cool stuff and uh first off hey there's a there's a t-rex there that guy's really cool looking he's pretty cool right i like that thing I, at this point in time i feel like i've seen so many t-rexes so i kind of just like it's off my radar a little bit. I'm like, all right, there's another T-Rex there. Um, but this one is actually, it's pretty cool. It's It's got it's got a lot of new features. Not a lot, but it's got some new features on there. And uh, one of which, I guess, is this, this like, shaking of the neck. And it kind of goes back and forth, um, which is pretty cool. It kind of resembles, uh, what do you call it, that um, 
just that motion, I guess, pretty much when you see like the Rex kind of break through the Spinosaurus uh, fossil on the Main Street for Jurassic World. It's kind of like that. Like it just kind of shakes back and forth really quickly. Um, it's it's a tad silly, but I really like what they're going for. So I kind of uh, I'm cutting them some slack. But uh, it is a little silly, but um, I do like it. I think it's a pretty cool, a pretty fun like addition uh to that uh that dinosaur and it's something different that we don't have like this electronic uh motion based uh system on the t-rex so that is that is really cool i'm uh i forget what the name is of this one is um uh what what is that t-rex name i don't remember it's a cool rex whatever it is <laughs> um all right so now, what, do we, what else we got here? Ooh, where, where, where's my slide? Um, very cool, Rex. like that thing. Uh, ooh, all right, guys. So here's a cool one. That is the Irritator. And that thing is really cool. That's awesome. I like that a lot. It's uh, certainly one of my favorites. As soon as I saw that thing, I'm like, I need that. I love it. Everything about it is really cool. Um, when this thing was undercover in the silhouette, I was kind of, I was like, what is this going to look like? I have no clue what kind of paint job they're going to go for, but uh, I, I'm for it. I, I'm definitely for it. You know, it's a little, it's a little bland in the, in the brown areas. Uh, and of course the nails and, and uh, claws and stuff are not painted. But uh, once you go up from there, the, the blues, and I, I like the spine or the sail, small sail, and uh, the head, I like all that. I think it's pretty cool. I like this thing a lot. Uh, definitely one of my favorites. I like any dinosaur that is uh, like one of these like snout nosed dinosaurs. I love these things so much. I love the Suchomimus, Spinosaurus, um, Baryonyx, you know, kind of like that too. I love that. Um, so I think that's a really cool one, really fun. And I will definitely be getting that as soon as it's out. Uh, I think it's one of the highlights of the show, to be honest. One of my favorites, at least. I know there are people out there that didn't necessarily love it. Um, but, uh, definitely one of the highlights for me at least. Oh, and this one too. Majungasaurus. Man, that's cool. I, I really like this one. Um, it's, it's super unique. It's definitely way different than, I think it's way different than any dinosaur we have so far, uh, from this toy line. You know, we got a lot of theropod dinosaurs, dinosaurs of this size, um, the tail is a little small. I, like, I don't know if that's, uh, accurate to the dinosaur or not, but I do love like the, the, uh, feathering or whatever's going on underneath the tail and underneath the neck as well. And on the back of the legs, uh, the spikes that are kind of coming off there. I like the look of that. Um, I love how slender and long the body is on this thing. It looks really, really cool. Um, and the coloring's fine. I think the coloring is good. Uh, hopefully these like claws are painted because they just look a little odd when it's just one tone all the way down the legs. Um, I think it makes a big difference and I'm, I don't really care to do this myself to spend a lot of time to go ahead and paint those toenails. It, not that it takes a lot of time or effort, but I just, I don't have, I'm, I'm live streaming all the time and I'm putting out episodes, so I don't have time for this, but I love, I love the way this thing looks. It's got this big goofy head and, uh, it's pretty cool. It's definitely unique and different. Something, something that, uh, you know, I can put up there and it looks a bit different than all the others that are on the shelf. Um, and that is the Majungasaurus. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh. So this one's, this one's pretty cool. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I was... I've been clamoring for a Sinoceratops, right? I think after that release of the uh, previous Sinoceratops, uh, which was actually a Pachyrhinosaurus, you know, that, that sculpt and everything about that dinosaur looked really cool. I loved the coloring. I loved the way it looked and, and all the features. But it wasn't a Sinoceratops, <laughs> So there was, you know, issues with the, the description of the thing, the naming on the box. Uh, we know it wasn't a Sinoceratops, but it had that color scheme from the film. Um, but yeah, it was just a uh, Pachyrhinosaurus. But now we actually have a real legit Sinoceratops. And this thing is really awesome. I'm loving that, that horn on the, the nose there. That is really awesome. Such a killer design. Loving the look of this this frill and the, the head. Everything about it looks really cool. Um, so also 
pr probably eh, probably in the top th three to five, somewhere in that range. I think I think that's safe to say. I like the coloring on this thing. I look. I think it looks pretty good. Um, so here we have a new Dilophosaurus. Uh, looks a bit silly so close up, but uh, it was a fun little one. I, I don't know. I'm not too thrilled by so many Dilophosaurus at this point. Um, but I, I, you know, it, it's got some new features on it. You move the tail and the neck flaps out. Um, and I think there's like a different sculpt on this thing. Uh, as far as the head's concerned, uh, I don't have one in, on hand, but, uh, you know, it looks pretty good. Uh, you know, we have to still deal with this, this like, you know, spring loaded, like, uh, hinge on the, on the neck there, which is not optimal, but you know, what are you going to do? I guess I guess they're not going to do the attachable uh, frill. Maybe they'll do that on the uh, Amber Collection one. That would be fantastic if they did that. I kind I think I asked for that recently in one of our episodes. But, uh, yeah. And one thing I'm noticing on a lot of these dinosaurs is this, like, red speckling. You can see it on the face of this one. It's got this red speckling all over the place. I don't know, like whose job that is or whose design that is, but uh, it's on a few of them. You can see it subtly on this dinosaur. Um, but yeah, so Dilophosaurus, ooh, or he, or he has the, uh, what's this guy? The uh, Stiggy Moloch, right? So it's another one, another one coming for you guys. It looks like this one is more, uh, sorry, he's a little cut off on your, your spot there, but uh, I, th I feel like it's more of the uh, Pachycephalosaurus kind of design here as far as the neck and the action's concerned. Um, but uh, another Stiggy, and I feel like it was a little bit taller. Maybe it's just because it's upright. But, uh, hey, another paint job. If you want to collect all your Stiggies, you know, have at it. There's plenty of them. And this guy right here, wow, is he super cute. That's awesome. I like this one. So this guy here, uh, guy, girl, I don't know. Uh, but uh, this one here is from Camp Cretaceous. So this one is apparently a, an attack pack figure. So <clears throat> that's pretty interesting. And it just, I love this thing. I think it looks really, really cute. I just don't know that like it it fits. <laughs> I don't know that it fits with the rest of what we've seen uh from the toy lines um and especially from the Ankylosaurus uh the bigger ones. It just it like it's a very very cool design but it just doesn't look like it fits in that in that realm, it kind of looks like it's more of like the Snap Squad, uh, bigger features, uh, or it's like a play school version or something like that. It kind of looks something like those, but this one's named Bumpy. And uh, yeah, it's coming to Camp Cretaceous. So this is a, a named character for Camp Cretaceous. Um, I don't think it's all that odd to have named, d named dinosaurs. Whoop, glitch in there. Um, I don't really think it's all that odd to have named dinosaurs uh, because we have, you know, zoos and sanctuaries and our own pets that have all these named uh, animals. So why not have all the dinosaurs in world, like in Jurassic World, the ones that you would actually work with day to day, have them named? It makes sense. So here's Bumpy. I wonder why they named him Bumpy. <laughs> Seems obvious. Um, but this is an, an attack pack, like I said, and, uh, I don't know when this is coming out, but, uh, it's pretty interesting. And I, I'm very interested to see this thing stacked up against, uh, the other, like the adult ankylosaurus, which I just don't feel like the features really size up. Like, I feel like the head on this one is like bigger than the head on the adult one. Um, because the heads on those ones are pretty small. So it's it's odd. It's an odd one, and I don't know, I don't know why. Because as far as we know, a bunch of the dinosaurs that were featured at New York Toy Fair, uh, or at least through the um, 
uh, the, the, what do you call it? They had like a showroom. Universal had a showroom with a bunch of different dinosaurs like uh, uh, Stegosaurus, uh, uh, Ceratosaurus, Baryonyx, uh, Parasaurolophus, uh, a few raptors and um, Protoceratops and the Mosaurus and the, the Carnotaurus. I'm just naming them all. Indominus. Um, this is the only one that really has a cartoony vibe, like straight up cartoony vibe. All the other ones really fit the, the are they're all part of the line, like the actual normal line. This one just is very different. So I'd love to know what you guys think about this one. Please uh, let me know in the comment section because uh, it, it's an interesting one for sure. And I think there's going to be a lot of debate once these toys actually come out and once the show's out. <clears throat> but uh, let's move on here. So that is Bumpy from Camp Cretaceous. It's cute. I like it. I like it outside of being odd for the line. So I guess speaking of Camp Cretaceous, we have another named character here. Um, so the one all the way over there, uh, the more uh, orangey red one, I guess, is uh, it's the co Command and Conquer control control and conquer whatever con command control conquer uh too many names uh C carnotaurus <laughs> so that's the carnotaurus that's already out on shelves and it has the electronic features and the cool motion and everything um so that one's on the shelves right now yawning huh? um and then we also have the uh the new one it looks you know it's pretty much the same kind of uh features i believe um, but this one has uh, a nice gash down its nose painted on, not, uh, not sculpted in, not, not carved in or anything. So it's, it's like they just took this one, painted it different and put a gash on their nose. Um, obviously, um, but this one is named Toro. So this is, uh, again, another Camp Cretaceous dinosaur. So we've got two named characters here. Um, very cool. I, I, you know, I'm glad that, uh, the, Indo or not the, Indo uh, the, what is this? The Carnotaurus. <laughs> the car, you know, I, I heard a study today that like, if you slept less than like some amount of hours, it gave you a way less percentage of your brain. That's what I'm working on guys. So what do you expect? Um, but this is uh, this is a Carnotaurus, and it's pretty cool. And it's from Camp Cretaceous, so its name is Toro, the bull, I believe, right? Um, pretty cool. I like it. I'm glad, like I was saying, that the Carnotaurus is going to be prominently featured, it seems like, in this show uh, as a villain. So that's pretty cool. What else we got here? All right, so that's an Indominus Rex. Right there. And it's got like a rack of ribs in its mouth. And uh, this is kind of like a, a take on like the Primal Pal kind of thing, but a little bit different. This one's called the Feeding Frenzy Indominus Rex. Um, and it's, it's, a, it's a cute little thing. It's a very, very cute little thing. I think this is like 20, 25 bucks or something like that uh, when it actually hits shelves. Um, and it's cool. It's like that little... You know, the Primal Pal blue that you could kind of move around and jiggle and, and it would, you know, bark at you and stuff like that. I like that thing. My kid loves it. It's fun. It's a, it's a cute little toy. This one is also very cute. I just had a, a hard time understanding how to use it uh, right off the bat. Now, I didn't, I didn't get to play with it too, too much. But uh, from the, the moments that I was able to get my hands on the thing and try to jostle it around, figure out what's going on, I wasn't really able to figure it out all that much. <laughs> So I, I figured out late in the game that there is a button somewhere, I think, on the crest. Uh, I can't really see it right here. But uh, it did roar and stuff like that. And then it has this uh, rack of ribs here that, uh, that uh, does come out of the mouth. And it has those, like, little pinholes so it kind of fits on the teeth so it stays in the mouth like that. Kind of it's, – it's a cool concept. Um, I like the thing. It's cute. I love these, like, cute renditions of our favorite villainous dinosaurs or blue – whatever it may be. Um, so it's a, it's a big, you know, a decent sized uh, dinosaur. It's pretty big. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a fun one. 
I like I, I would I hope for more designs like these, like this this size range, this playability. Uh, I think kids like them, so why not? Uh, that's the Feeding Frenzy Indominus Rex. We also have the Super Colossal Indominus Rex. Man, that thing is huge. That thing, I can't tell you, that thing is huge. I mean, you understand, guys. You have the, uh, you, maybe you have the um, Super Colossal T-Rex or Blue. Um, it, you know, it's the same kind of size as that. You got the dinosaurs in there, come out the stomach. And this thing, I love that this thing is just not like a straight on forward pose. It kind of has like a little twist to it. It's very cool. Super detailed. Look at all the detail on this thing. It's massive. It looks beautiful. And it's in scale, I guess, with the, uh, the, uh, Amber collection. So pretty cool. And it would be beautiful to like have this thing facing off against the super colossal T-Rex. Oh, man, that thing is really cool. That is awesome. All right, so that's the super colossal. Now we have a, a look at the Sinosaur. Uh, 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 no, not Sinosaur. Styracosaurus. <laughs> uh, this is a Styracosaurus, the same one that you've seen previously, just painted slightly different, uh, a little lighter tone on the blues. And the back uh, has that orange, uh, uh, the maroon on the back, and then the frill has the orange there. This is a great looking dinosaur. I love this thing a lot. And I'm glad they kind of changed it up a little bit. They didn't make it too drastic, which I kind of appreciate that it it feels like it's from the same family or, or something like that. It, it really kind of goes in line with the one that we've already seen, but it has a different flair to it. So I like that. It's not too drastically different. So most times it feels like these dinosaurs look so drastically different that they like it, it feels like one's like a chaos effect and then one's just like a standard. This these both like fit in line and I really appreciate that. There it is, the Majungasaurus again. Different view this time. I like this thing. It's cool. It's fun. Silly looking, but it's fun. You can see the speckling there on the foot as well. Uh, well, well, see that? Which way am I facing? This way? Nope. Yeah, that way. There it is right there. Some speckling. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, there's the irritator. Looking irritated. Pretty cool. There it is again. Ah, look out. And here is the Paraceralophus. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like this a lot better than the other one. It has, uh, what seems to be a much more natural color than the previous Parasaurolophus. Uh, the other one was a lot more yellow. This one is a little bit more tan and you see so much more speckling on this thing, I feel like. And obviously the coloring with the reds and the, the maroons and, and all that, and the, it just looks really good. And the neck is different. The neck is more thin. So it's not this like weird bulky neck that it previously had on it. So it's I, I find it, kind of cool that they actually went ahead and changed the neck on the thing like nobody nobody really cared about that i don't think i don't feel like i ever heard any complaints about that um i, I don't know if i complained about it i don't think i did uh, I, I i think i complained quite a bit about this dinosaur initially but uh, i'm happy with the updates here and i think it looks a lot better just based on the paint job alone um i still would have loved to have seen like uh and maybe I don't. I don't think the neck really changes all that much. But I think uh, I wanted to see more of an upright pose. But uh, not this time around, folks. But at least the paint job and everything else looks a bit different. Cool. Oh, there's Bumpy again, hiding over there. Where you going, Bumpy? So cute. Super cute. Oh, ah, uh, we got a. Scary looking raptor above me. This one's a jumper. Uh, a nice paint job. It's kind of like a tiger striping. Uh, looks a bit uh, different than some of the others. So I'm into this one. I think it looks pretty cool. I know not everybody really cares for the jumping raptors all that much. Yes, they have big feet. Kind of mandatory for 
uh, the ability to jump like that, but uh, I like them. Uh, here we get another raptor. You know, that classic pose from uh, all, mostly all the raptors out there, it feels like. Um, but it's green. It's a nice green color. It's pretty cool. It's a darker green. I, I don't know if we have any darker green ones like that. But uh, I'm definitely here for it. I like it. I think it's a pretty good looking one. Oh, did I go? No, yeah. I did. All right. So back with the sign. Oh, now nah, I'm skipping all over the place. Sinoceratops. There it is again. Another view. Eating a bush there. So it's hungry. I love this thing. And look, what stands out nicely in this one is the speckling uh, of the white or the tan or whatever that is all over the bottom. It's down the side on the head. I feel like it really stands out in this picture here. That's it's a nice touch. Sometimes it's a little odd on some of the dinosaurs. It feels like it was just a afterthought. But like this one, it feels like it kind of ties in nicely. I don't know why it's different than some of the others, but it feels different. Postosuchus, right? Yeah. There it is. I'm in the way. Hey. There, there it is. Still in the way. Uh, but that's a <laughs> like. Try, how do I get out of here? But have the mic still near my uh, my head. Um, Postosuchus, I lo I love this one so so much. Yes, it looks like the Masaurus paint job, <laughs> but uh, I like it. It's really really cool. This is like something. It's not a dinosaur, but uh, it's a nice big reptile there for us. And I love having uh, a variation of creatures outside of dinosaurs. I love having these things. So keep making them, please. Keep keep sending us more uh, more giant lizardy things. Uh, and uh, here's a min me. We have a min me already. Same one. This is the same thing, just painted differently. And this thing is out now, I believe. So you can you can find this uh, somewhere. I think it's been seen in Targets, uh, and I think people have had it shipped to them. I don't know from where. Probably probably somewhere, right? Probably somewhere. Very insightful, I know. Probably from somewhere. And here's a Masaurus, changing it up, changing up the Masaurus game here. So previously, Masaurus looked like this guy, this kind of paint job here. Now it looks like this one, a little more natural, I guess. Uh, it's not. I'm not loving it. I don't know what's going on. Why I don't really love it. <sighs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I just. Uh, I think it's maybe the fact that the, the black, doesn't blend as nicely as some of the others. At least the others like hide it a little bit. This one just very much stands out as far as uh, those two colors clashing a little bit. I, I I wish there was a bit better blending there, but what are you going to do? And here is the Aliramis. So what do we got? We got a we got a bunch of dinosaurs so far from Dinosaur the Ride <laughs> out at Disney's Animal Kingdom. And uh, here's the Aliramis here. So this is pretty cool. I like this guy. It's kind of like a Proceratosaurus size, uh, raptor size dinosaur. Not too crazy or anything. Uh, but I like this thing. It's another, you know, good theropod sized, you know, or whatever size dinosaur. Um, giant fingers and uh, bulky arms on this little guy. So pretty cool. And I like the sculpt on the face. And the uh, crest on the nose there. That's pretty cool. Liking this thing. It looks jacked all around. Here's another raptor. Huh. This time with the purples. Um, I like Scutosaurus, right? Man, that thing's cool. I love crazy creations from Mattel. Um, anything that is not... A dinosaur. Uh, I love the inclusion of this guy. I've had a bunch of people reach out and say he looks like Hondo Anaka. <laughs> so, Ryan, I don't know if you're still here, but we got our Hondo Anaka dinosaur. Uh, pretty cool looking. I like this guy. Really cute. Really cute. 
Uh, I guess. I don't know. I just like it. He's cute to me. Um, and I love the coloring on this thing. I love it. It's really, really cool. But uh, what are you guys talking about in the chat? I don't know. I'll get back to the chat in a little bit. Um, but uh, there we go. There's Toro again. A little bit up close now. So I wonder, where does that scratch come from? Is that something that uh, happens in the show? Or is it already there prior to the show? Camp Cretaceous. What's up, Toro? What happened? What happened, bro? And here is the super colossal T-Rex down in the bushes. I love this thing. This is still just probably my favorite toy that they've made. It's so, so good. I love this thing. And you know what? We're going to move on here because I, I, I went through all the dinosaurs that I got to see. Um, I think mostly. There may be in a few like uh, Pteranodon. I didn't really... I don't know. I don't care about those ones. Um, and there was like the Calavosaurus was there. Um, there was a Pachycephalosaurus. No, Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah. Yeah. Pachycephalosaurus was there and uh, maybe something else. I forget. But uh, yeah, covered covered those enough. So I uh, just wanted to showcase some other stuff that I actually ended up seeing. Here's a bunch of Toy Story, Pixar, or just Pixar in general, all Pixar stuff. And uh I know Walmart has been doing a lot of Pixar stuff too. So keep your eyes out for like the Monsters Inc. guys, the Incredible guys, stuff like that out at uh, Walmart. And I've seen a lot of the, I don't know if it's these ones specifically, but the Onward stuff I just saw at Target today. Obviously, um, Toy Story stuff's been out forever. And they got the action figure of the year. Mattel got action figure of the year. They won that last year with their Jurassic stuff. And this year they won it with their Toy Story stuff. Well deserved. I think they made some great uh, Toy Story figures. And tonight, not Mattel related, I don't believe, but we actually just bought a, a Jesse, uh, a big talking doll Jesse for my son. So he loves the thing. And here's some. <laughs> here, there's Mike Wazowski up there, and there's a bunch of aliens. Uh, I love these things. I love these things so much. They're just these. I guess Pixar alien remixes and they, my, my kid loved these as well. Like pointing out each one of them and, uh, and look at, man, look at that Wally in the background. That thing is awesome. That's massive. That's a big Wally. I don't know what the price point on that is, but I, I, I imagine it's going to be fairly big. Hopefully my, uh, something, something was making noise last night. And I don't know what it was. Was it my chair? I don't know. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Where'd the zoom come from? <laughs> and here's another shot at the Mattel booth, the full booth. You can see the, the entire thing there. Uh, very small booth, guys. Very small. You got the T-Rex right over here. Right up there. Uh, and all the way, oh yeah, the Brachiosaurus was there, the Indominus Rex, uh, the whatever, whatever that was called. At, the, I don't, at this point, I don't even remember. C c control, con com command, something. I, I legit cannot think of what that, the, what that thing was called. D destroy and devour Indominus Rex. There it is. Uh, too, too many names. Quit it. Um, and there's all the other toys. Oh, so the Tarbosaurus was there. Uh, 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 what is that thing? Draco Rex was back there. A trike was back there. Eh. 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 Oh, baby Yoda, what's going on? Uh, there's my bud Tim over there, too. Um... Baby Yoda was all over the place at Toy Fair. And he's so cute. Baby Yoda's so cute, guys. Love Baby Yoda. 
So you got a plushie there. You got some sort of other figure. And then you got these from, uh, uh, I forget the name of the company, blanking on it, sorry. But they have a Yoda costume for tod for babies, and then also a baby Yoda costume that is uh, not made yet. So they're uh, going through like a testing phase or, you know, trying to get this thing made, but uh, not done yet, or the approval phase. And hey, guys, I got to hang out with Peppa Pig and George Pig. I guess. Is their last name Pig? I guess. Oh, look, there's a T-Rex in there. And the T. That was fun, guys. You got to get the photo ops, you know? All right, so we also passed by the uh, uh, the Funko um, in the way. There's a T-Rex. You see that T-Rex? Uh, Funko-verse. Jurassic Park Funko-verse strategy game. Uh, twenty four ninety nine, and this set here, whoo, yawning again. Uh, you got the awesome artwork here. Uh, I love that artwork. It's really really cool. Love that. It's so awesome. Um, I don't really understand. I don't really know like what these games are about per se. Like I know there are some out there right now. I actually just saw a Golden Girls one on clearance at Target. Uh, I did not pick it up, but um, strategy game. And it looks like you got a card back there to kind of indicate what your your guy's about. And maybe these are game pieces. I don't know. Um, but uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And there's other ones as well. And you got a four player version here for thirty nine ninety nine. Alan, Ellie, Ray Arnold, and a Velociraptor. Very cool artwork on this one as well. And uh, look at that three inherit the Earth challenge points or some, I don't know. To run, move four. Getting her hands dirty, maybe it says. Uh, challenge three, if successful, blah, 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 blah. Dig leader, Alan Grant. Huh. All right. And then you over here, you got uh, Ray Arnold and a Velociraptor. It looks, oh, man, look at that rendering, though. Oh, that's really cool kind of bummed it doesn't look like that the velociraptor rendering on the card itself is way cooler than the actual <laughs> funko velociraptor and uh yeah i mean that's what it looks like you know this is the 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 one that they released um you know last uh, 2018 i believe so it's the same thing, but uh, I think those ones are a little bit smaller. If uh, maybe, I think they're a little bit smaller, but uh, it's set that same weird proportioned head. So that one that's behind me, though, that's this. Where is it? Where am I? Where am I? This one right here. That is really cool. And that's the first time I noticed that. So that's that's pretty cool. I love that thing. And we get a Ray Arnold Funko. That's fantastic. Oh, look at this. The Mandalorian on Blurg. Love that. That's awesome. And they get the covert uh, Mandalorian back there as well. Awesome. There's a lot of Mandalorian stuff, guys. Um, and there's me. With Godzilla. And there's me with Chase from Paw Patrol. And there's me with Marshall, I believe, from Paw Patrol. Obviously very, very real characters. They were actually there. I said hi. And here's me, Chris, and Tim with a small horse. We were very serious business people. Press-related people. Hanging out with a baby horse. Not a baby horse. A small horse. I don't know what you call them. Little Sebastians. <laughs> I like this horse. It was a, a therapy horse. So it's a very, very nice horse. And it does good work. So love that horse. And there, hey, there's Jurassic World Live Tour. 
So this, I also, I, you know, I'll talk about this too. Um, so the same day, I went out to Jurassic World live tour. I went out there that night. So I met up with a bunch of, you know, these kind of guys here. <laughs> and then uh, went out to, and I think I got a picture here. Yeah. So there's Jay Jurassic. There's myself. And there's Kayla Burnett, where my hand disappears. He's over there. Um, and uh, we went out to go see Jurassic World live tour. We had some amazing seats. Look at those seats, guys. Great seats. And uh, the show's awesome. The show is so good. I love this show so much. That was my third time seeing it. Caleb's second, Jay's first. And uh, it was cool to see Jay's reaction to the show um, firsthand. And, you know, there were some mishaps during the show and stuff that went a little wrong. Nothing major. Just minor stuff that after seeing it three times, I'm like, oh, oh, what happened here? What happened there? But I think that's part of uh, a live show. But, uh, man, if you guys see this thing come into your area, please don't miss it. It's awesome. And you you might not have the opportunity to see it again because who knows? I don't think it's going to end up touring again. But uh, I don't know. Maybe we'll get a sequel in the future or maybe it'll just stop. I don't know. So don't miss it, though. If, you, if it does come to your area, please, please go see it. It's so much fun. There we are. And there's uh, myself, Chris, and Tim. Uh, from Collect Jurassic there. So that's uh, a bunch of cool dudes going to see Mattel. And, uh, and uh, oh, you know, there we are. <laughs> As the troll band going on a world tour, rocking out with some troll tunes. Pretty awesome. Yep. And guys, we're talking about it. We're talking about it. The Seats Micarorum. Uh yes, Jay, I see your comment there. The the Funko ones do seem to be smaller than the regular ones. Um But guys, we got the Seats Micarorum here. Um and uh What do you think? What do you think? So this leaked out of it leaked out that weekend. I don't know if it came from Toy Fair or somewhere else. I'm assuming Toy Fair. Maybe they had it behind the scenes or something. But um, it came out that weekend, and I don't know where. But uh, there it is. See, that's Meeker Arm. They officially announced it on our podcast when I interviewed a bunch of them over at Mattel. And uh, we're getting our first look at the Seat's Meeker Arm. Massive biter. And man, I think that thing looks cool. I think it looks pretty awesome. I love that like deep blue that is on the back. You've got these quills that are quills. I don't know what they're attempting to do with the quills these days, if they're trying to be feathers or just quills or what, but uh I feel like a lot of the representation of this dinosaur that I've seen is uh, based in feathers. And why not? You know, that's the representation of today's standards for dinosaurs. So I don't know. I don't know what needs to happen for toys to have feathers, but um, it might not ever happen. I don't know. I don't know if it's plausible, but, um, you know, at least we're getting these quill like feathery features, I guess you could say. Um, but I think this is cool. It's got a long jaw and snout. Uh, teeth are looking wild. It looks like a pretty vicious dinosaur. Um, looks similar, I guess you could say, to like the uh, Battle at Big Rock uh, Allosaurus. Um, very similar to that, I guess, in nature. Small tail, but it does look like it curves around a little bit. But um, yeah, proportions are a little strange, I guess. But I don't care all that much. I think it looks pretty cool. Yeah, what do you think? It looks like it has a button there on the a tail, and you can swivel. I like the new swivel feature on these dinosaurs. Pretty cool. Swivel the tails, and like they kind of chomp from side to side and stuff, and then the button there on the tail itself. Well, uh, I don't don't think this has any roaring features, but uh, don't quote me on that. Usually there's like a little diagram here that says uh, that it roars. Um 
But uh, yeah, I believe that's it, guys. Yeah. So, what do you think? CS Mikororum. I'm definitely into it. I'm definitely... I'm definitely going to get this thing. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, there's definitely a different style, I think, to a lot of the dinosaurs that they've been making recently. Um, but uh, some of them are are a little cartoony, but this one's not so much. I think this looks pretty cool. I like this one a lot. Uh, so I will definitely be getting it. But um, yeah, that's about that. Um, and man, I, you know, I can't help it. I can't help it. Ah, oh, there it is. Look at that. Jurassic World Dominion. I know I talked about this in last night's live stream, but tonight, Wednesday nights around 9 30, 10, somewhere o'clock is our Let's Talk Jurassic uh, legit fun. Jay Jurassic, I know you're in here. He was on our show for a little bit uh, last night as well. And like I said, you can hear the audio from uh, my portion uh, on the podcast feed today. And uh, yeah, exciting stuff, guys. Exciting stuff. Jurassic World, Dominion, 2021. Started filming two days ago. Awesome. I hope it has those Jurassic Park colors because that's really cool. That is fantastic. I don't know what you guys have been doing over in the chat. I uh, did not get to pay too much attention over there tonight, but we are running down on time. And I want to go ahead and get out of here before we get too late because it's already 1056 at night. So we're going to move on here. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of this Let's Talk Jurassic. And guys, like I said, go to JurassicParkPodcast.com to find all of our episodes, show notes, and so much more. We have uh, articles, episode show notes, videos, whatever you want over on our website. Please go to JurassicParkPodcast.com to find more. And please go to uh, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, guys, hitting the mic. Spotify. We are on Spotify. We've got a lot of listeners over on Spotify, and uh, you can find all of the episodes over there as well. So, yeah. Oh, man. Go listen to the podcast. Three episodes this week, man. What is going on? Too much. Too much. Slow it down. Jurassic World just started filming again, and I already have three episodes out this week. Oh, man. We're, we're in for it. This, this film is going to be trouble. I'm going to be, there's going to be like, hey guys, seven days a week, new episodes every day. Oh boy. But uh, <laughs> make sure to go to Twitter, follow us at Jurassic Park Pod, Instagram and Facebook. Just search for the Jurassic Park Podcast. And also on our Facebook, uh, well, just on Facebook in general, go search for the Jurassic Park Podcast Facebook page uh, or Facebook group. What am I talking about? Facebook group. Find the group answer the questions guys i know a lot of you probably coming from here maybe but a lot of people out there are not answering the questions you got to answer the questions otherwise you get rejected i don't know who's coming to this group but we want to make sure that it's uh, a group that's full of people that listen to the show participate with the show and uh just know what's going on so please answer the two questions who is an actor that was in the films and who is a contributor or host on the Jurassic Park podcast. So share this around, comment below, like this video, like all the videos, go back, like each and every one. I know that's realistic. There's probably 500 something videos. So do it. <laughs> But, man, I thank you guys each and every time we come here for a Let's Talk Jurassic. And uh, I don't know I don't know what else we got planned for this week over on the channel. If I have some time, maybe we'll get some more videos. If not, sorry, guys. Uh, been slacking over here on YouTube. That's why I'm doing these live streams again for you. Uh, 
you know, especially two a week. I'm doing them now, two a week it seems like. And uh, I don't care. We're going to have fun with them. Next week, I don't know what we got going on, but we do have the Jurassic Mailbag coming up for you guys. And if you want to be a part of the Jurassic Mailbag, let us know what you think about Jurassic World Dominion and the title reveal. Let us know what you're thinking about Jurassic World Dominion. Did I say that? Jurassic World Dominion? Yeah. And call us on our voicemail line, 732-825-7763. Leave us a voicemail, and we'll play it on the episode in the Jurassic Mail Bag. I've already got a ton of voicemails. This might be a very long episode. I am very, very scared, because it might be very long. Call our voicemail line. Leave us a message about Jurassic World Dominion. What are your thoughts? What did you think about that image? And if you're outside of the country here in the U.S., uh, send us an email with an MP3. Just go on your phone. Hit the record button, record an MP3, send it over to our email address, Jurassic Park Pod, Jurassic Park P-O-D, Pod, at gmail.com. Send us that, Jurassic Park Pod at gmail.com. Send us an MP3 and we'll play it on the show. Try not to make them too crazy long. Please, because we got a lot to go through over on the podcast this week and yes stay tuned for the Jurassic Mailbag coming next week thank you guys it's been a blast talking to you again tonight I don't know hopefully if there's more news we'll talk again soon but if not I'll see you guys next week here on another Let's Talk Jurassic every Wednesday night we'll be here thank you guys so much for watching and there goes my music and enjoy enjoy